all right it was a fun weekend now we're back to our daily grind I had an evac pool we rescheduled it uh, after this call so I'm headed to do it's a, a high pressure leak check see if we can find a leak another tech couldn't find it but first I'm just gonna see if I can find it with an electronic leak detector uh, I might get lucky and save a lot of time so we're gonna do that and then figure that that call out and then we're gonna go change the evap call All right, so before doing the high pressure test, I checked uh, I checked myself with the electronic leak detector and I found the leak to that bottom left of that EVAP coil, usually where it always is in those bottom corners. Um, I sprayed soap and bubbles everywhere to verify. I couldn't get anything to bubble, so it's gotta be up in that coil. But that's where we're at, and uh, unfortunately it's out of warranty, so we're getting him a price and see what he wants to do. That's it, on to the next one. the pump down process outside but he's doing a lot of work behind us but I try to get what I can in here I had a comment of how to do a evap coil change out I've done a couple videos but maybe I'll do this one a little more detailed now the issue here is we got this threshold lip so i'm gonna cut the pipe here take the doors off take that off i'll probably have to pull a blower so i can pull that coil up and out that should be it So I took the little grooves out already, got the screws out, take this bar out. I'm going to pick this up a little bit. We should have some play in the drain so I can get the drain cut right there. If not, I think I can still get it cut. And then I'll loosen this here because usually they come with a new TXV. So I'll loosen that, get the new one in, get everything set up. I'll put putty around here and I'll then I'll change out the line dryer. beat on it. I got it to flex. So we should be good. 
this ain't the best circumstance, best situation for filming. Let's see if I can do it the other way. this away I'll sand and cut here on the suction line you could braze I just I just like to do it this way I mean you could sweat it out heat it up pull it off where the original braze joint is but I just like nice clean new fittings and everything all right, it was a little bit of a pain to get that copper out of the way. And don't be a man, don't wear gloves. All right, cool, is ready to go. So I'm pulling this out of here. And taking it downstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin this off here. All right, I'm gonna get the drain put in. Doors back on, everything like it should be. And then I got some new copper line dryer there. I'm just gonna go ahead and redo all that because I kind of bent this, trying to get it out. Whew, I'm out of breath. And there we go, let's get started. like it when it doesn't go pssst. So I'm probably gonna have to do a pressure test. And all the whole nine yards. When you leave your doors off, I was getting overconfident and I put the big door on. You do want to put this little one here on first. But I put this one on being confident. But then when I don't hear a hiss, it makes me not so confident. We're about to the brazen point. I feel like I'm kinking the suction line here, so I'm just gonna cut down here and replace this whole piece anyways. We'll just have nice new pieces of copper. It's gonna take a lot longer than normal. All right, this is what I come up with. I had to use a straight 90, bent it there. We came down, we bent it here. I'm gonna go ahead, since this is never any flex on this thing, I'm gonna go ahead and add new flex when we get done. All right, here's what the new liquid line is gonna look like. Let's get started. All right, I'm brazen. I got soap and bubbles on it. I bumped the nitrogen up to about 100 PSI. And then we're gonna go bump it up even some more. We'll let it hold and make sure nothing inside that is leaking. But we know there's no leak in my braze joints. Over 200 PSI, we're gonna let it settle. And then take a break. Make sure it doesn't drop. Yeah, yeah. He's holding time for vacuum. All right, so I got the vacuum on and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together on the inside. And we'll go out here and do the rest. Insulated the line. Now uh, put all this back together, clean up my mess. Always use a drop cloth when you're doing jobs like this. Cleaned up the inside. I think we're good. All right, all done with this call. Headed to the next one. This one was pretty simple, except for. Uh, 
that kink I did in the suction line. But it's fixed better than it was before. And I'm happy with it. So we are good to go. So remember, hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you. Be sure to comment.